Uh, Mr Duncan Smith, what do you make of this uh, court case starting here today? Well, I'm sorry it's got to this. Uh, I think the court is in danger now of straying into political territory. Uh, the Bill of Rights, Article 9, uh, many people won't know anything about that, but that was very clear. That's the basis of our Constitution. Made it very clear that Parliament and Parliament alone can decide how they do their business, not for the courts to decide that. So today, when they, you know, they start their business, they should bear in mind very critically that the British people were given the right to make the decision in the referendum. And it wasn't a, an advisory. It was very clear from every single government minister this was an instruction. So that instruction has been given by the British people to the government and the government now has to invoke Article 50 because that's what the instruction was. The courts now, if they set Parliament up in that process, then what happens is they could potentially end up with Parliament defying the will of the British people and that would lead to a constitutional crisis. I hope that uh, 11 judges sit there and recognise the territory that they're sitting in right now, which is constitutionally very grave indeed. And I hope that they reflect on the fact that, uh, uh, you know, this is not their business. In other words, they, they should back away and say it's for Parliament to decide. Parliament has the power to call governments into Parliament to debate and argue about how this should be done. It's not for the courts to tell everybody how they should get about their business. Well, it's really a bit of a red herring, the whole uh, Scottish case, because in fact this is a reserved power. The right to make treaties, external treaties, foreign affairs, they're all reserved powers. So what's going on here is them kind of running on to the back of this process in the hope that somehow they can just delay it a bit longer. Uh, I'm, I have very little doubt that the courts will say, look, this is still a matter that for Westminster to decide, uh, so whatever they decide about whether Parliament should vote or not, I feel pretty strong that they will turn around and say to the Scottish Government, of course they should take account of what you say, but the ultimate decision is a Westminster decision. Any excuse for the Scottish Nationalists to have a referendum and they're going to cl cl cleave to it, but they haven't called for it and they don't want to call for it I think for a very good reason which is I think people in Scotland are sick to the back teeth of having to vote on a referendum they were told this is a once in a lifetime chance to vote and they did that and they rejected independence so the Scottish Nationalist Party can't keep going back again and again saying do this again until you get the right decision it's rather like what's going on here with Europe you know when you make a decision to leave Europe somehow you have to keep making that decision until you get it right according to the European Union in Scotland it's very similar the Scottish nationalists do not and will not accept the decision of the people unless it's the one that they want I don't think that's very democratic